Well, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to today's SPS On Conversation, where our topic is going to be about drop shipping. We'll dig into the fulfillment process and um, how to make this thing a little bit less tedious. And I know you probably are wondering how we do that. Uh, as we dig in, whether you're new to dropship or, or if you're just looking for a few tips to, to add to your tool belt, our panel will have some great tips and some really good advice for you. Just stay tuned. I'm Will Flowers, your host for today. I'm, I'm here to make sure that uh, we answer your questions and, and wrap up on time. I want to make sure that we honor your time because we're so happy that you, sh you showed up today. If you have a question, uh, drop it in a Zoom Q&A and we'll answer it at our, at, at our live Q&A session later on in the event, and we promise we will get to it. Uh, you can upvote, which is a really cool feature. It's a, when you see a question that you like or in the queue that uh, you want it to move up in the list, feel free to go ahead and add to that and then basically stay alert because uh, we will be getting to that question a little bit faster. One other thing I would like to rem remind you that um, everyone who got a chance to register today, um, we'll be doing a drawing. And yes, there's gonna be a drawing and there will be some winners. And although the winners don't have to share with me, I do want to give you a heads up that it is a very yummy prize and that we'll be sending those out to you and getting some information towards the end of our time today. Are you guys excited? Because I totally am. Today's topic is well-timed. Uh, many suppliers are seeing their drop ship orders double or even triple uh, due to the pandemic, many have told us that their drop shipping was manageable before, but not now. I mean, it's a good problem to have, right? It's time to get some tips and techniques on, on using our carrier service solution to save you time and hopefully save some money along the way. That's the job of today's panel. I want to get an opportunity to meet them. As they come to the virtual stage, we're going to get a chance to see their lovely faces and their smiles. And oh, yes, by the way, you must smile when you get on camera. As they are coming in, I um, wanted just to introduce the, those folks that are on the, the, the lovely screen ahead of you. Um, we have on one of our squares is Amy Cooper. Uh, she's from CDH Associates. As the company's controller, she knows the time is money, and she also knows that uh, career, the carrier service is the way to go. Um, she keeps the drop shipping orders under control. Can everyone do me a favor and say hi to Amy virtually? Nice. Jackie Stingelman, also who is a co-founder of uh, Backbone Organics, she's here with us today. Uh, she loves how carrier service keeps her from having to toggle between this screen and that screen. It also is helping her for save a ton of time in processing. Why don't we do this? Welcome, Jackie. Hey, Jackie. Nice to see you guys. Also on here, we have Jackie Peterson. I know, I know. Yep, there's two Jackies. But this one is from the Team SPS. Jackie is a pro uh, the product manager for the Fulfillment Carrier Service. And here she is to show you and show us a live demo on how this stuff actually works. Hey, Jackie. Last but not least, my good friend, uh, Jay Copeland, he's on the line as well. Um, Jay is also from SPS and he is a, for, with the customer success team. He's a customer success consultant here and works with the, the carrier service on a whole different level. He works with our customers to get them up to up, up and running fast, excuse me, and making sure that everyone is um, ready to go. Good afternoon, Ev. Jay, how are you? Well, sir, thank you for having us, Will. Really appreciate it. Perfect. Well. To start us off, I'm going to hand it over to the panelists to continue our discussion, or start our discussion. Thank you, Will. Hi, everyone. We're so excited to have Jackie here. Jackie, thanks so much for joining us today to talk about your business and your experience with SPS. To start, can you please share a little bit about your business? Sure, Jackie. Uh, we are a Bozeman, Montana based company that specializes in producing antler dog chews for all different types and sizes of dogs. Very nice. I can attest my pup loves it. I saw the picture. Thank you very much. That was beautiful. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> um, so let's see, how is your business managing a crazy 2020? 
crazy is not the not the word, right? It's an understatement. Um, <laughs> you guys have really helped us a great deal because, as Will said, dropship has kind of gone crazy with the COVID and everybody's home buying. So having the dropship program with you all saved us big time because in the beginning when we were doing it, I was about ready to drop all my vendors that were making me dropship because um, it just took too much time. It was going between three different screens and three different websites, having to do it myself in UPS. Um, and then when you all came up and said, guess what? We have dropship. It was like the light Woo, went off. I was like, yes, it saves me literally five minutes per PO. So awesome. it was awesome. It's really helped us just streamline everything quickly. Um, my team downstairs gets it all prepped and ready for mailing within like 30 seconds per PO. So it's helped me a great deal in, in cost savings and time management and all of that has been great. Love it. Very cool. Yeah, even before COVID hit this year, um, we had been seeing dropship increase um, every year. A lot of our fulfillment users had to adjust their processes, much like you have to accommodate for this new order model. Right. Um, dropship is especially unique because it's difficult um, of the tight timelines and then the pressure it puts on your margins. Mm -hmm. We'll demonstrate shortly how SPS fulfillment with carrier service can help reduce that time to fulfill an order like you mentioned. Um, and free up your time to focus on other parts of your business. So just to dive in a little bit more about dropship, what do you love and hate about dropship orders? What I love about it is it, it keeps me in touch with my customer, even though it's coming from another you know, big box store, one of our vendors will send us all their dropships. I still get to touch the antler. I still get to wrap the antler. I still get to you know, hand deliver it basically is what we're doing, making sure it's perfect. And that's what I love about the dropship program. Awesome. And what do you hate about dropship? Well, I used to hate the time it took me to do it, but now with you all, it's, it's, I'd say 50% less stress. So it's not a hate, love, hate relationship anymore. Good, good. Yeah. There's, there's so many different requirements when you talk about, you know, dropship, um, when it comes to the documents that you have to do, even those carrier labels. So a lot of retailers, you know, want a PO number on it, want a phone number, some don't. And so we really take exactly. out that, that hassle by managing those requirements on your behalf. To Everybody sure. has a different way they want their, their invoices. A hundred percent agree with that. So this is wonderful. Good, good. Um, I know you talked a little bit about it before, but can you just dive into a little bit more about what your process was like before you used carrier service and then now what it looks like today? So I would start, we would get a PO in from a vendor and then, um, that PO has to go into QuickBooks in order to generate an invoice number, which has to be then put back into SPS. Um, but then we had to generate our own label for shipping. So we had to go outside into UP, our UPS account um, and enter every single one um, manually. So this populates a lot of the work for me. Um, basically, I'm, I'm entering maybe two or three lines versus 20. Um, so it it's really speeds up the process. And that, I mean, that's pretty much it. We had to hand manually do it up until you guys brought this program over. Well, thank you so much for um, sharing your experience with SPS. Um, now I'm gonna actually invite Jay to jump on here to walk through a demo so we can um, show exactly what you're talking about to help. Okay, great. Clicks. Thank you. Thank you again for everything you guys do for us. Yeah, thank you so much. Okay. Jay. So if you wouldn't mind sharing your screen here. Um, so Jay has logged into our fulfillment solution. So first we'll start by finding that purchase order. You'll notice here we're using a target.com direct vendorship order. Next he'll go ahead and create a new shipment or ASN. And Jay's going to make sure he fills out all the information on that header tab where we're shipping to and from. Perfect. Now you'll notice there's a new 
tab labeled carrier. <laughs> Sorry, technical. Little, little technical issue here. Give me a second. <laughs> I'm going to pause my share. This is what happens when we give a demo live. A little ad libbing. So just like Jackie was talking about earlier, our carrier so service solution saves you time and reduces your data entry by up to 50%. So you no longer have to toggle back and forth between fulfillment and your carrier portals. You can actually just book a shipment and generate that carrier label directly within fulfillment. Jay, is your screen frozen or is it just what I'm seeing? I just paused the share for a minute, Jackie. I did not okay. my password a second time. <laughs> I figured out my issue. Okay. Sounds good here. Sorry, folks. We're back, back up and running. Wonderful. <laughs> so if you just want to finish the, the header tab there quick, make sure we're all good to go. Okay, so now we're on the new carrier tab. So there's just a few fields here that you need to fill out in order to book a shipment. So Jay's going to go ahead and do that. You'll notice there's a drop down within the carrier field. This is because we have connected to both UPS and FedEx for this particular vendor. Our carrier service offering allows you to connect to UPS, FedEx, USPS, Canada Post, Curator, Australia Post, and Star Trek. Next, we're going to move over to the order tab to finish filling out the relevant information that's required. You notice here at the bottom, there's a section called carrier service pack information. This is really where you're under the package dimensions and weight for the product. Jay's now going to go up and check for errors, make sure we filled everything out correctly. Now we're ready to book that shipment. So right now, um, fulfillment is actually connecting directly with the carrier to book that shipment. Once the shipment is booked, you'll get this success message letting you print your carrier labels. So all within our fulfillment solution, you can go ahead and generate your carrier label and print it. There is our active label here. If you're ready now, you can go ahead and send the ASN. Another benefit of carrier service is that we automatically append the tracking number to your ASN. So no more copying and pasting lengthy tracking numbers, reducing that risk for error. Jay here pulled up our label as well, and then you'll notice there was a spot for the packing slip to show up as well. So you can print that all in one spot. Now, as Jay tends to do, he made an error. So if that was the case, um, you can actually go back into the ASN and discard that shipment to go ahead and make the update. So you notice here, it's telling you that your label is no longer valid. You're going to discard that shipment. Now Jay can go ahead and make any changes necessary. <laughs> Sending the package right to himself. All right, Jackie, I've checked for all my errors, but I, I am allowed to use either carrier for my And I currently awesome. have both FedEx and UPS set up. How can I awesome. Like so in this is instance where your retailer isn't um, telling you what carrier service level to ship with for this particular package, you can actually leverage our rate 
shopping feature. So right shopping, make sure you're optimizing your shipping costs. You can actually go ahead and select the auto rate shopping checkbox to have the system pre-select and pre-populate the carrier and service level that gives you the cheapest rate. Or you can go ahead and like Jay was just showing, you can click shop shipping rate. Now you can view all the shipping options you have across all carriers. There's different filters. So you can go ahead and filter how you'd like, but it's actually displaying the price point for each one of those particular rates. So you can go ahead and select the rate that you want and it'll bring you right back to your ASN. So you can finish booking your shipment and sending your ASN to complete your process um, for sending the order. Anything else, Jay? I think that did it, Jackie. That was a wonderful demo. Little glitch. Perfect but we were able to show you our new carrier service product and better ways that you can be leveraging your carrier accounts with your retailers. Awesome. Thanks so much for driving that. I'm going to turn it over to you and Amy to have a little chat. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who are on the call that do not know me, my name is Jay Copeland. I work with our fulfillment product and I actually have uh, implemented approximately 20 to 25 of these carrier connections. Uh, Jackie got me involved early on in the process. We've done our beta testing and we are looking good. And uh, Amy is one of my vendors that I helped onboard throughout this process. So I'd like her to introduce herself and then I'm gonna ask her a couple questions. Miss Amy, if you would. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, like Jay said, we just um, got the carrier service up and running um, and we're a small e-com distribution facility vendor. Um, so we, with COVID, it has totally changed the face of everything. So tell me a little bit more about your business. What do you primarily ship and who do you primarily ship to? Uh, we ship direct to, uh, excuse me, direct to customer. Um, our biggest vendors are Home Depot and Lowe's. Um, our main product that we sell is worm castings, 100% organic. If you've never used them, try them out. They're awesome. It's great for tomatoes, all your vegetables, your indoor plants, everything. And like I said, COVID has just made this all skyrocket, like Jackie alluded to, just because everybody's at home and that's where they're ordering from. If I remember correctly, on our first phone call, we, we talked and you said that you used to get a, a max of 40 orders per day pre- COVID. Yeah, pre COVID, we were running on average about 40 to 50 orders. Um, when COVID hit, our orders immediately jumped to 100, 200. Our biggest day, we had 475 orders. Um, and the requirements for Home Depot and Lowe's both for us is we have to ship within 24 hours. So you have to get all of your paperwork done, all of your ASNs done, all of your shipping labels and everything. So it was it was very stressful when COVID first hit. So yeah, 440 orders, that's a lot, especially to be fulfilling within 24 hours. Yes. How the process. How many processors did you have before carrier service? How long was it taking you to do this? Um, it was taking me on average about 18 hours a day on a big day like that to get everything done because we would have to pull the orders. Then we had to, luckily in 2018, we were gifted with um, the knowledge of SPS's QuickBooks adapter, which has been a godsend since then and totally helped with COVID. Um, because if we were having to hand key all of these orders in into QuickBooks, as well as pulling them and then going into SPS and then going to the UPS world ship key hand manually keying those in and then going back into SPS and putting the tracking in. It, it was taking me, like I said, 18 hours a day and it was crazy. <laughs> yeah, you would turn SPS into a full-time job twice over alone just on COVID. If I yes. Know. Yes. Now let's talk about, how we do today. So that was back in April when I first reached out to Amy and we had first met. How does your process look today and uh, tell us what's changed? Um, today with carrier service implemented, I'm working back, I'm back to eight to 10 hour days instead of 18 hour days, which is great. I can leave my work at work. I don't have to take it home. Um, the best thing about carrier service, in my opinion, is the fact that once you've 
printed your label and you've sent that ASN, you're done. You don't have to go back in and do anything else. At least I don't because we have the QuickBooks adapter. We send all our invoices through the QuickBooks adapter. So, I mean, it's, it's sped up our process considerably. I'm, I'm very pleased with it. How difficult was it to get, um, I think we had two carriers, and we had UPS and FedEx. How long did it take for me to get those uh, integrated into your SPS account? I, I would say maybe at the max two weeks, and that's just because you've got to go back and you've got to tweak, tweak this here, tweak that there, make sure that you have all your I's dotted and T's crossed. So, it, I mean, it was very, very easy process to go through, and you were with me every step of the way. Any questions I had, you were quick to answer and we've not had any problems with it. Well, it helped for me that I had such a great student and a great partner. <laughs> and I thank well, you thank so you. much, Amy. You've been a wonderful success story to SPS. The biggest thing I want to call out for you and your account is, like you said, you mentioned the carrier service product. You've coupled it with some of the optimization features that came with your fulfillment product. We gave you that QuickBooks adapter. And what we're seeing is the customer life cycle is going up further. You start with phase one of getting that retailer. Phase two, we make your processing faster. Phase three, we keep automating things. And all of a sudden, this starts turning into a more and more streamlined process. And it's been yes. a thing with you throughout the process. So I thank you for that. Thank you very much. You've been a pleasure to work with. Oh, I appreciate it, ma'am. I'm going to turn it back over to uh, Will Flowers. He's going to uh, finish our uh, drawing, and then we're going to have time for a Q&A. Mr. William. Hey, Jay. Jay, before you get off, I mean, did you say, did, she, did Amy say she went from 18 hours to eight hours? Man, I need something in my office to help me save that kind of time. That's incredible. Yes, sir. That's incredible. Thank you for that. And uh, thank you, Amy, and all of the, um, the other panelists. Uh, before we move on uh, to our live Q&A, earlier I hinted to some really yummy prizes. Yes, when you joined today, uh, this webinar, you, your name was um, was entered into a drawing for an amazing dessert. It was a delivery. It was a dessert, dessert delivery company, which is called Milk Bar. And I will tell you. Give me a second. I got to show it to you because I can show you better than I can tell you. Yes, as you look in there and get hungry as I am right now, um, I wanted to come up and bring our two winners to basically acknowledge that they have won and to let them know where they can send their dessert so I can taste some of it. Uh, the two winners we have is Brittany Ray and Michael Skinner. Congratulations, Brittany and Michael. I hope you enjoy your, your amazing, amazing dessert. I mean, the, if you look at the screen, there's a lot to choose from, but they're even better uh, when they're actually in person. So. What I would like for you to do is um, via the chat, please just chat Marilyn your information. We'll be able to uh, make sure that we get those desserts over to you. We do have your email address from, the, uh, from your registration, so we can contact you that way as well. Um, our events team will be in contact with you to arrange the, uh, arrange the dessert delivery. Very excited for you. It's going to be good. Now that I'm extremely hungry, and probably most of you are as well, let's bring our panelists back up and to answer a few questions from the attendees. And as their wonderful faces are coming up, we want to welcome each one of you. And before we get, before we get jump in too fast, we're going to get our questions in the Q&A. As I mentioned before, um, go ahead and put your questions in the Q&A uh, area and we're going to shoot them out to our panelists and they'll give you some answers. Coming back. The first question, I'll send it over to Jay. Does SPS also send the orders and invoices to Jackie's company, ERP QuickBooks? How do the orders get sent to their QuickBooks? How does that work? Good question. Yes. So as part of the customer lifecycle, you can do what we call web-based EDI, which is when we uh, link you up with your retail partner. for fulfillment. So I can take my laptop with me anywhere. And I have taken it across multiple different states and time zones to fulfill my orders and to send my invoices. Let's say my volume gets pretty high and I want to start automating that and keep that linked into my QuickBooks system. What we do is we set you up with a system automation consultant, traditionally a project manager as well. 
You may choose to continue to use fulfillment while the service is being implemented. You may choose to completely skip over fulfillment and not go live with your retailer until the adapter is ready. And essentially what we do is we link you into our data center with a specific adapter. Uh, we can do QuickBooks, NetSuite. I believe one of the questions also mentioned SAP. So we do uh, a lot of different ERP systems. QuickBooks and NetSuite are probably our biggest two. And that through that adapter, the order flows seamlessly into your QuickBooks software. And as uh, both Amy and uh, Jackie can attest to, when you're doing that invoice, you're still doing it in your QuickBooks software so that it's obviously there for your accounting purposes and end of the year income statements and balance sheets. But when you transmit that from QuickBooks, it also gets picked up, sent back to the SPS data center and sent right to your retail partner. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop for everything except the ASM. Nice, thank you. Thank you for that, Jay. Hey, we have another question that just came up for, for Jackie. And uh, Jenny's asking a twofold question. One is, do you also work with, do you also work with Amazon Vendor Central for drop shipping? First one, and then the next part of it was, does your new application also confirm automatically the orders in Vendor Central, or do we still have to need to manually confirm each and every order? And what they were saying, Thanks, basically, well. process and label printed. Thanks, Well, I'm actually just gonna to toss that one over to Jay, just since I know he's familiar with it and sets up customers. Thanks, Jack. And one of the uh, key functions of my job is that I get to know a lot about SPS different product offerings, but I also know a lot about your retailers. I know their requirements, almost down to the label specifications. For Amazon Vendor Central, we do currently offer carrier service to them. We do offer carrier service for every retailer you can connect through an SPS. And the majority of them have been built out. If at any point you do select a retailer and we do not have carrier service built for them at that time, we prioritize that build and it's completed within 48 hours. For the Amazon Vendor Central piece, the orders will flow from your Vendor Central account to SPS fulfillment. Now you do still have to send a purchase order acknowledgement because you do have to inform Amazon that you are either able to accept the item, accept with any changes, or that you need to reject or delete the item. Now this is a good plug for our optimization product because one of our new features this year is known as a quick send 855. If you find you're filling 95 plus percent of your orders and killing less than 5%, we can recommend a quick send 855 that helps do that process automatically. So long answer to the question, you do still have to confirm the orders through Amazon as that is part of their requirements. You can do it in either Vendor Central or SPS, and you can install carrier service for your Amazon ASNs so that you can get your packing slip and your shipping label, and I can have your product show up in my door the next day. Nice, nice, I love it, love it. Uh, this question, actually, we're going to bring both uh, Jenny and Christine's question together. Uh, do you also have, does SPS also have a connector with NetSuite? And if so, it sounds like yes. And then the, the follow-up question is, do I need to have a specific QuickBooks model if I want to use the adapter? So. No, you answer, Jackie. It's all <laughs> no, you. You're good. Yep, yeah, just like Jay attention. mentioned. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yep, we do have a connector that we can connect with NetSuite. Um, and for QuickBooks, we do offer... Um, solutions for all QuickBooks. So QuickBooks desktop, online, you name it. Um, and then it looked like um, Tammy had a question. Again, I'm just gonna jump in here. Will, um, we do other ERP systems as well. So it looks like SAP was mentioned. So we do have adapters for um, all of the majority of the um, big ERPs, accounting systems, WMS, OMS, IMS, um, and if we don't have an adapter ourselves, then we definitely have a partner that we can um, partner with for that technology. Thanks, Jackie. Let me ask this, Jay. Um, a, one, of our, one of our participants today wanted to ask, um, what is the cost to implement this service? Is that something we can basically, is there like a blanket cost or is there need more information to, to give cost? There is a blanket cost and you're testing my knowledge. So I'm gonna default to Jack to actually remind me I'm always this close, but I always default to make sure I have my best person on it, as I like to say. Ms. Peterson, I implement uh, FedEx for my Walmart connection. How much will this run me? Thank you, Jay. Um, so carrier service costs $25 per trading partner per month. So you can connect as many carriers for that particular trading partner, and you can have as many users using fulfillment as you want. It's a per trading partner basis. And again, at the twenty-five dollars a month. Jackie, well, Jay, I know you can answer this one. 
this one I know you can. Kirsten asked the question, can you go over the available carriers, carriers again, just so they can uh, jot that down? All right, this is a big test of my knowledge. Let's do it, Mr. Flowers. Obviously, right off the bat, my two favorites, FedEx and UPS. We've always been able to use those, and we're even better at it this year. A couple new ones on the horizon. We also offer USPS integration. That's right, our gold United States Postal Service through your stamps.com account. We also support Canada Post, Australia Post, Purelator, and I want to say Starlight, but I always get that last part wrong. Star Track. Star Track. So close. <laughs> Five out of Almost six. There. Almost there. Almost <laughs> there. Thanks, Jay. Just to make sure, uh, going back to you, Jackie, just want to make sure, what is the monthly cost? Because I don't know if everyone heard that. $25 per trading partner. Okay. Perfect. I'll, I'll, I have a follow-up question for you, Jackie. Uh, do, do most users of SPS with the uh, QB adapter, uh, the QuickBook adapter, send invoices through the adapter or through SPS fulfillment product? I believe most of them send the invoices from their QuickBooks adapter. So they get the orders in to QuickBooks and they send the invoice from QuickBooks directly. Jay, any other color to add to that one? Actually, I wanted to ask Amy about this one because I know she uses our QuickBooks adapter. Amy, how's your invoicing process with QuickBooks? Uh, the, the way I do mine is I send mine through the adapter and all you do is you click search, you put your date field in if you're doing just doing one day and you click search and it'll pull up all your invoices that you've done for that day and you go through and you pick which invoices you want to send you click send and it runs through and it'll tell you that it's pulling them from quickbooks and sending them to sps and then tells you um process successful or at least hopefully it will tell you process successful that's what you're wanting and you're done that's it so clicking three buttons is a whole lot easier than going into fulfillment and doing each one individually. Amy, you have just been a world of game changers. It's just been changing your life. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Um, I'm going to throw this to both of you and just uh, to Jay and Jackie to see, um, can SPS provide a 3PL service for LTL freight? And then the, the follow-up is, if so, can it be merged with the Northern Tool with the Northern Tool users? Yeah, so... Echo Logistics? For this carrier service, um, we started, like, like Jay mentioned, with those carriers on the small parcel side. And actually, our next phase is going to be building out to LTL carriers. So um, very timely. I kicked this off with my development team yesterday morning. Um, so we're starting to develop that solution, hoping to launch it early um, next year. And so we're looking at connecting to um, anywhere between... 25 to 100 different LTL carriers. So we're able to cover the majority of those. So you can um, use carrier service here in the future for not only drop ship orders for those small parcel carriers, but also for all other order, order models um, with LTL carriers. Thank you for that. We have about two more questions. We're gonna go ahead and just get that answered. Jay, I'm gonna throw it to you. See if you can help me with this one. Uh, we do all of our packing in our warehouse how can the integration of QuickBooks and, um, and using a carrier help us save time? Good question, yes. So in addition to doing a lot of our carrier service implementations, I also do a lot of our, what we call web logistics implementations. So that's when we bring in either a in-house warehouse or a third party logistics company to handle the shipments for you. This can be done a variety of different ways and it all depends on the, the vendor specifically and which one's gonna be most conducive to their business. The most common example I see is that you get your purchase order in fulfillment, your warehouse has access to your fulfillment account, and the purchase order is also inputted into your ERP system, let's say QuickBooks in this case. Your warehousing team has access to your SPS fulfillment portal. They can then take that purchase order, turn it into a pick list. They can then go throughout the warehouse, pick and pack the items, and as they are packing the items ready to get the shipments together, you can have your warehouse manager fill out the ASN, generate his packing labels, get their packing slip and carrier label, packing slip in the box, taped it up, carrier label on top, out the door, ASN goes out with it. For the team in the corporate side of this, you would see the purchase order in your QuickBooks software. You touch base with your warehouse manager daily to ask what orders have shipped and are ready to be invoiced. And then you let your team of accounts payable processors go into QuickBooks and send that invoice from there. Now, again, that's more of a generic example of how I've seen this work. 
We can accommodate a variety of different styles, and there are many different ways to involve your warehouse and your ERP system and couple that with our carrier service as well. Good question. And Jay, how, how long do you say that process for setting up the service is? Setting up the service to integrate the carrier for a retailer that has already been built out in our system can be done within uh, 48 to 72 hours. Again, it's all gonna depend on the responsiveness of uh, the carrier themselves. So we are gonna need different pieces of information for each carrier to get them set up. We need to make sure that those pieces match what we register in SPS through our aggregator that they match your carrier itself. If everything matches up successfully and here as well, then we're all set to go. Perfect. Thank you for that. Um, this is the, the final question. We want to go ahead and throw this out to Jackie and see if you can help us with this. And some of the follow up with some of the questions before the price was $25 per trading partner. Uh, there are no additional per transactions per order. And then also, um, what are the information implementation per tra trading partner? Yep, good question. So, um, like I mentioned, $25 per trading partner, and there's no additional costs per transaction or anything that. So based on your um, plan that you have set up with SPS today, um, your document plan. So to add on carrier service, it's literally just as simple as $25 per month. There's no setup fee. There's no implementation costs. There's nothing like that. So try to make it as simple as possible. Thank you for that. Hopefully that uh basically summed it up for everyone and your questions were answered. Very good questions out there. And well, time, that is our time for today and our time is up and, and have some fun. I really appreciate today. Thank you, Jackie, Amy, Jackie, and Jay. Did I get, did I miss any Jackies out there? Perfect. I hope I didn't. Hope I didn't. Uh, this is a great lively conversation. I really appreciate it. Appreciate your time. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for all for attending. Thank you. As they uh, exit the screen, uh, I just wanted to marvel at the desserts more, a little bit more, uh, just because they're so they look so amazing. Did it give you an opportunity to look at those yummy desserts? <laughs> Well, we hope you got a tip or two from the discussion today. I, I, I learned a ton. I mean, I took a lot of, I have a lot of takeaways from just the, the Q&A, some of the questions you asked, as well as some of the answers that we had and the experience that some of our customers are actually experiencing. Today has been great. What I want you to do is watch for an email from SPS with an invitation to join our private LinkedIn group and to take a short survey. We want to know, you know, what you think, what was your experience? And we also want to thank you for, for completing that survey. And, and when you do so, um, we're going to give you a gift card for $5 to Starbucks, as you can see on your screen, just as a thank you for participating and taking time to uh, give us that feedback and give us some of your, some of your experience, which we greatly, greatly appreciate. Um, and if you want to learn more, if you want to learn more, I would ask that you, um, uh, Contact SPS. We'd love to continue the conversation. You have on, the, on your screen here, uh, we have Jackie and Jay who are extremely knowledgeable, as you can see. And we would love for you just to reach out to them and ask any of your questions and just stay connected to us and with us so that we can uh, continue to uh, engage and hopefully give you some more tips and advice.